أعزائي المشاهدين أهلا وسهلا بكم من جديد مع برنامجكم الأسبوعي برنامج إمارات كما عودناكم في كل أسبوع نستضيف لكم خيرة من دولة الإمارات قصة نجاح أتتنا إلى الدولة منذ سبعينيات القرن الماضي مستر فرانك جود أفتنون جود أفتنون We are so lucky to be here with you in your office Our team said to you welcome in our program And we would like to know about yourself Who's Frank when he come to this country at the first time And what he's doing at this moment Uh, as you said, my name is Frank Sampson. Uh, I came to uh, Dubai in 1987 uh, as an accountant uh, on, an, on an offer of employment from Alphotem. Uh, I worked with them for uh, 10 years mm -hmm. and then uh, in 1996, uh, I was offered an employment with 3M, uh, which hired me for one of the spin-off companies called Ignation, and I was with them until 2010. So that's my journey in uh, UAE, starting from 1997 until 2010. In 2010, I started this company uh, uh, with a partnership uh, with another person, uh, which lasted until 2014. Uh, that was in uh, Dubai, Karama. And later on, I moved on to my own, starting this company in Silicon Oasis in 2014. So what the company mainly concept or the idea of the company that you open now? Uh, since accounting was the only thing I knew, when I was let go at, by, at, uh, at in 2010 by 3M because of the uh, uh, because of the uh, 3M animation because of the uh, downturn in the economy, uh, I was offered an option either I continue with them but not in Dubai, uh, but in their office in Singapore. But I love Dubai, so I said no, I will not be taking their offer in Singapore, uh, even though it was a better position and higher position. I said no, I love Dubai. I want to be in Dubai with my family and my children. So I said the only thing I know is accounting, so I will do accounting. And I started private practice with a friend of mine in 2010. Data Prime. Data Prime, the company name. That's right. So, uh, so the company when we start to open our own company, I would like to talk about shifting from employee to employer. So, how you start? Yes. Uh, from being an employee to an employer, it was not a very big uh, shift for me, primarily because I was in senior positions in my career, so I had uh, employees reporting to me. So I had a very good experience on how to manage people, how to guide them, how to counsel them, how to train them, how to equip them to do better, not necessarily for the company, but also for their own self, for their own self-development. So I was, I would say I was already experienced in this field, so starting a company on my own, and having staff reporting to me and being an employer was not a big shift. The only thing that uh, was different was that this time I'm responsible for the company's uh, top line, the bottom line, and employee uh, responsible for employees' well-being. So those are added things, which was a great joy actually to, see, to do that. When we talk about 2014 until 2016, 17, so after that Dubai start talking about uh, tasks, start people understanding what is the task, don't know it, and they want to run it starting looking for the uh, accounting company to help them. So that was your booming time when we talk about it? Yeah, I would say yes. That was a great time to, to enter the market of accounting because tax was coming in 2018. People did not know what to do. So I would say yes, that was one of the times when we were able to uh, get more clients. We were able to, uh, to advise people. Not everyone that we talk to will come as a client because clients will look for things that suit them both, most. But yes, that was a good time for us to be in the market. It helped us. So you're focusing on the small businesses, right? That's precisely what we do. So what you provide them or what kind of help you can support them? Yeah, uh, it is a well-known fact that small businesses operate with a very low working capital. They want to save on cost. They want to be efficient. They want to be lean. So this is our market. Mm -hmm. So we, at, we attract small businesses who would not want to employ a full-time CFO a full-time accountant. They can do that at very low prices, but it will be a matter of sacrificing on quality. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we provide them quality service of professional accountants who are certified, and we ask, uh, we tell them that we can provide the same service with qualified people on a part-time basis. So that way it reduces headcount for them, it reduces costs for them, and they have got an effective accounting and a robust accounting system. They are well advised on what their finances are. We give them timely support. 
so they have everything in a in a smaller package affordable and yet good so uh, also when we talk about auditing you don't work with auditing but you are make the case is easy for auditing company that registered right that is right yes so uh, what kind of, so what you are exactly doing with the auditing people yes uh, almost all of my clients require audit support because they have clients in the free zones there some of them are having some facilities in the bank say all of them generally require audit support audit uh, audited financials as we are not an auditing company uh, what we do is we ask our tell our clients yes we can help you with that so clients don't have the time or the ability or the resources or even the know how how to respond to audit uh-huh. queries etc so we help the clients to prepare their uh, audit support uh, documents uh, validate their numbers for them and then we pro- provide all of this data for the auditors for their review this makes the audit uh, auditors work easy and also they are able to rely on somebody who is more professional in analyzing the data of the client and providing it to them even though we are not auditors we are supporting our clients in this audit function and that helps them to be able to make good decisions good judgments based on whatever we we advise them and also based on a good solid uh, reliable accounting and audit practice 2019 it's come corona and corona changed the world we are shifted from uh, life to life we shift to the digital age everyone start work remotely many jobs start to hide it's no job anymore from that field and many new ideas coming after corona so did corona affect you with the good way or the bad way yeah yes corona in terms of my total revenue i will say that it was not affected very badly because the clients were there with uh, during uh, before corona also needed accounting services also needed support services so our clientele did not diminish our revenue streams did not dev- diminish but what happened was a lot of clients who were more used to working on uh, uh, in person visits and uh, found uh, the remote were to be more conducive to them because we were not sitting in front of them and taking their time but that, but they could work at their own time they could provide the data at their own time and we learned to work with sharepoint we learned to work with onedrive and other cloud based uh, sharing uh, platforms so that helped the client to free his time from sitting with us and to do more business and, and on the other hand the clients who were there with us during corona continued with us the only challenge they had was in terms of their business going down uh, their revenues going down and they were sometimes even uh, struggling to to meet their costs but we stuck with them and we provided them additional uh, support in terms of waiver of fees in terms of providing uh, 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 pro bono at times so they were very uh, happy with our support to them if in difficult times i think helping them in times of adversity Uh, cemented our relationship made our relationship even better now so those who were there before corona went through us with corona and now they are still with us in very good terms and your team is trained for the account the programs same like oracle language or uh, c++ language all of it they can work on it yes my team works on all kind of platforms oracle platforms they work on sap platforms they work on also since our company are mostly smes most of them do not have the except a few of them who work with oracle Uh, almost all of them work with uh, off the shelf uh, accounting packages like uh, quickbooks or zero or or uh, first bid accounting they use those kind of platforms and we are well versed with that and you, uh, your team have experience with it also um? yes yes my team have uh, uh, more than 10 years experience in all of them yeah and also there is many program coming now many update many tools coming for our life so also that team need to be up to date so that's uh, so yes. how you update them Yes, we actually have you know when whenever uh, seminars come in because now with all this new compliance coming in the AML compliance with the tax compliances ah. the Silicon Valley and other free zones and other entities often uh, uh, send us notifications of training programs mm. and uh, I share with all my team and most of my team uh, uh, all of my team actually they go for these programs they attend the seminars just for the matter of education mm-hmm. and I encourage them if they want to study yes please go ahead and study so I. an open platform with them i want my team to grow it's not about growing me and my organization but i want my team also to grow when we talk about five brothers managing the company we will not say that employees so you are same like a team or a brothers right that's right so yeah. when we talk also about the grandfather of four kids and the father of two and the husband so how you manage your time between all these parts yeah yes uh, uh, yes fortunately my children are now grown up they are married with their own children so it's not so much as to uh, watch for them watch out for them Uh, but yes, in the initial stages, I had children going to school, 
and as like any other family members we had to make time for the family uh, yes sometimes work takes precedence but i want to be i want to say one thing here that i am very thankful for my family my wife was very understanding knowing the pressures that i am working in my children were understanding knowing the pressures i am working in always uh, was supportive of my all, all the steps that i took even starting the zone business they were behind me 100% and saying yes go ahead and we are with you so that was good for me let's go to mr frank childhood when his father was treating him all the time work hard and what he built in your character that's survive you all this time mm-hmm. yes uh, i come from a large family i would say uh, six people six siblings and uh, uh, six children uh, yeah my parents were uh, were work, working my father was only a working member uh, he wasn't a very uh, i would say affluent person or very rich or very high place in so he was working for the railways but he was a good man he did all that he could do to keep us fed and send us to school and give us education at some point in time and we grew into college Uh, our life all my brothers all my siblings all had to study and to work so uh, a large part of my study was in the night colleges but going to work in the morning mr frank starts up company they need your help right that's right so many newcomers coming to start their own company so that's they need right. advice before they come so what you advise them yeah okay if a newcomer if he wants to start a company i would say Uh, given everything is common like you have your skill you have even a capital backing what you need to put in is hard work never be afraid of work you know don't don't ever put a hand in something and then pull it out if you put a hand in something see to it that finishes till the end uh, that's hard work second thing is integrity integrity also plays a lot of thing if you work above board if you are transparent and if you tell your people who, who work with how you work your styles your your concerns and you are open with them and you build an integrity with them that builds relationship and this that brings business and what you are planning for the future of the company now for the future of the company yes i want to grow my staff i want to this company is not about me it's about me and my team members um, yes the company will grow i will grow so i would say this company is built on my team not on me mm-hmm. they build it for me so my plan is to build them grow them and clients will come i want to grow the company organically as clients come my team will grow i will have more employees and i will make sure that they have more equip equip they are equipped and trained to do more things and better things mm-hmm. so i want this to be a like a place that people will say yes i want to be here you know and yeah and uh, finally when we talk about this country have a concept we cannot find it over the world the security and peace here in this country right, yes. starting from his highness sheikh zaid the first step son of zaid they make it number one in the world so what you will say to the leaders and government for all this opportunity that we have yes yeah as i i don't know whether i mentioned earlier but i said i've been here for 37 years in the uae and i have seen uae grow and i've i've seen when the, the uae as uh when uh, uae when uh, sheikh rashid was the ruler of dubai and uh, sheikh zaid was the president i know uae from that time and i have seen the country enjoy a lot of peace and stability from that time onwards people are free to work people are free to uh, to do what they want to do in terms of business uh, there is safety even when people go outside the uh, house even at 10 in the night or at midnight there is safety there is no fear of uh, any uh, so i think this is all because of the wisdom and the vision of the leaders the current leaders are are definitely following up on the footsteps of the founding fathers of the uae and at the same time uh, i want to uh, say that uh, the vision of sheikh mohammed for dubai has been is ex- exponentially great you know having opened so many up opportunities like free zones etc in the uae making opportunities for small business to work making things easy in terms of even uh, cost of setting up companies so those are all great things happened and i think uh it's a it's a great place to be working in it's a great you know atmosphere stability peace and of course definitely confidence in the leadership is a great advantage for all people who come to work here i'm thankful for that very very eternally grateful and from our side we we'll say to you thank you so much for spending your time with our team and we'll come again in this world thank you so my much. pleasure on this one yeah. في كل إمارة روش تسلدك عقد وروش فروا مدن وجبال حاجة ترى